Allison here. I'm gonna show you how I play the Headmaster Ritual. It's one of the more challenging Smith songs for me to play. Uh, it is in an alternate tuning, an open E tuning. So you're gonna keep your low E the same, tune your fifth string A to a B, tune your fourth string D up to an E, and your third string G up to a G sharp, and then keep the B and E the same as in standard tuning. So all together that's E, B, E, G sharp, B, and E. All right, let's get started on all the parts. Here is the strumming for the intro. It's also in the chorus. We've got this chord form on the eighth, seventh, and sixth frets. Third finger, eighth fret. Fourth finger right underneath it. Second finger on the seventh fret, fourth string. First finger on the sixth fret, third string. We start with an upstroke. And then you're gonna be moving down, same chord form, on your way down. Strum open. So all together that sounds like this. Third finger, or actually it doesn't matter what finger you use, on the first fret, third, first string, third fret. Strumming the top four strings or so to open. Another down up open. And we go back to the top. And that repeats. So all together, it sounds like this. here for a third time. Move up a whole step to the 10th, 9th, and 8th frets. Back down here to the 3rd, 1st, 3rd, 2nd, and 3rd, bleh, 3rd, 2nd, and 1st frets. You know what I mean. And back to the 8th fret. is the strumming part for the intro. Let me do that again one more time without talking slowly. After the strumming part in the intro, it goes directly into the signature riff part. Sounds like this. I'm going to start with the open sixth string to the open fourth string. First finger comes to the second fret fifth string. And I do a slide, half step up to the third fret. Then reach a fifth above, or at the fifth fret, fourth string. So all together, that's third string open. That's the first phrase. Next is the sixth string and then the fifth string open. Second to third on the fifth string, back to the uh, fifth fret, fourth string, and the open third string, then the open second string. So the second phrase is so our first and second phrases together sound like this. repeat it except for the very last note instead of the second string open it's the first string open so it's really four phrases all together So 
the picking part is four phrases. You're gonna do two cycles of that the first time. Then we're gonna go back to our chords just for a little bit. And we're gonna go into the picking again, but it's a shorter duration. Instead of two cycles of four phrases, it's one and a half cycles. This confused me at first too. I would highly recommend listening to the recording. So the second time you do the picking, so that's one cycle, right? That's the next cycle. It cuts off in the middle of it. Back to the chords. Then the last time, it only does a half of a cycle. Before going into the verse. Hope that makes sense. Here's the first part of the verse. starts with some full barring on the 5th fret, 7th fret, then open strings, then we're fretting the 2nd fret on the 5th and the 2nd strings. Back to the 5th fret, 7th fret, barring still, 10th fret. Then we go back to that uh, that riff picking just for a half of a cycle. Here's the second part of the verse. Start with a bar on the seventh fret, and we're going to be adding either the third or fourth finger on the ninth fret second string, and then walk that voicing down six five. So all together that's open, second fret, fifth string, and second string, like we did in part one of the verse. Back to the seventh fret. We don't do the walk down the second time, we go to the fourth fret. together, part two of the verse. Next is the pre-chorus picking part. I want to go home, I don't want to stay here. Sounds like this. Starting with the first finger on the fifth string, second fret, pinky or third finger on the fourth fret, second string, plucking strings. Five, three, two, three. One, three, two, three. So, five, three, two, three. One, three, two, three. Then first finger comes off. Put the fifth string open and then third string. First finger comes to the second fret first string and then open and plug second third. So that whole bit with the first finger off is the pinky stays on for the next chord as well. Fourth fret, sixth string. Six, three, two, three, one, three, two, three. Just like the first chord. So let's.
let's recap. Then I'm gonna move the bass note up to the fifth fret. Pinky comes off, replaced with third or fourth finger on the third string fifth fret. Six, four, three, two. All right, so all together. Then it's some strumming. I lied, it's not all picking. This bar on the second fret, top four strings. Third finger on the fourth fret, fifth string. Next, it looks like a major seventh chord if we were in standard tuning. We've got a bar on the second fret, fifth string down, third finger, fourth fret, fourth string, second finger, third fret, third string, pinky, fourth fret, second string. <laughs> Next we have, wait, is that right? I have to double check. Yes, it is right. Next we have second finger on the fifth fret, fifth string, first finger on the fourth fret, fourth string, third finger on the third fret, fifth string, and fourth finger on the fifth fret, second string. Bar across the fourth fret, bar across the fifth fret. Then we're gonna go back and repeat that whole sequence. But instead of going to the fifth fret right away, we go back to this voicing. Stay there. Then the fourth fret again the fifth fret. Is that right? <laughs> I think that's right. Okay, so I was doubting myself on that last chord of the pre-chorus for a reason, because it doesn't go to the fifth fret. It just ends on the fourth fret. So the last bit of the pre-chorus... <laughs> then it goes back to the strumming we did in the intro which is also the chorus, and there's the yodeling over it. And it just cycles that uh, to, at the end of the song. So the form of the song is a little tricky. I would recommend just listening to the, the record to get the order of the parts. There's also some overdubs. So it's difficult to play all the parts. You can hear it going sometimes as well. Instead of just three to open, it could go three to two. It's up to you which, which part you wanna do on that. So that's basically the gist of how I do Headmaster Ritual. It's not an easy song. Good luck with it.